So in this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the snipping tool. And the snipping tool really is, I think, one of the best features that's buried in Windows 10. A lot of people don't even know it exists. And they would use it a lot, I think, if they knew it did exist. And what the snipping tool is for is it's for taking screenshots. It's for taking snapshots of things that you have on your computer and saving those for later so that you can use them, let's say, in a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document or whatever. So let's look at it. To activate the snipping tool, what you need to do is go down to the lower left corner of the screen and click on the Search Windows button and then just type in Snipping. When you do that, you should get a result that appears. Next, just click on it. It opens up and it's just this little bar uh, this little toolbar that appears. Once you see this toolbar, what you need to do is arrange the screen the way you want it to be to take your screenshot. So let's say I want to take a screenshot of part of this article. Okay, I would just make it look the way I want to make it look and that might include using control minus, control plus to make the text bigger or smaller. It might involve using this scroll bar to get the part of the article I would like to capture. But once I have it the way I want it to be, I use this toolbar from the snipping tool to click new. And notice that the color of the screen changed a little bit. It went kind of milky white. And my mouse cursor has turned into a plus sign. At this point, all I need to do is click and drag around what I would like to capture and then just let go of the mouse button and the snipping tool has taken a screenshot of that web page. Okay, there's the screenshot. And now if I want to, I can annotate on this. I can use a pen to draw on it. I can use a highlighter to highlight different parts of this image. I can delete if I need to delete. And then I simply click Save Snip. I can save it to the desktop if I want to or to pictures. And I can change the type of image that it's saving as if I want to. I could save it as a PNG, yes, or I could save it as a JPEG or one of these other options. I am going to stick to PNG and I'll click Save. If I want to, I can change the name, but I'll just click Save. And there on my desktop now is an image that I have taken as a screenshot. Now, if you really like the snipping tool, if you think you'll use this over and over, I highly recommend that next time you start it up to use it, you go down to the taskbar, right click on it, and choose Pin to Taskbar. That way, once it's closed, from then on, you should have access to the snipping tool. Quick access here on the bar, and you can just click on it to open it up. So I hope you'll enjoy using the snipping tool. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students, and watch for a new video at least every Monday.